I think we're recording. Hello, Internet Land. This is Biff Crow with Man Cave Museum. I, uh, I've had a very exciting weekend. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the uh, video I just recently uploaded before this one. Uh, was my adventures and romp around uh, Fan Expo 2017 in Toronto uh, with my buddies. We were actually uh, there Friday. It was kind of cool. It wasn't too crowded, but it wasn't like empty. Um, I tried to get footage where I could. I hope you guys like that. Anyways, I have an epic arrival. Um, some of you may or may not know I'm actually uh, in the process of developing my own game. And um, one of my, my big things as a gamer, uh, one of the things that truly drives me to play games is the single player experience. I suck at online. Um, there are very few online games I'll play. Uh, the exceptions, of course, being things like EVE or, um, you know, Starblood Arena, which, you know, every now and then I try to, and I'll go online and play that. But I'm, I'm really about the narrative and the single player experience. So <clears throat> when Limited Run Games announced that this was actually coming out to physical uh, form, I was very, very excited. I'm a big fan of the company themselves. Uh, you may know them from different things like, um, uh, what was it, uh, Amnesia, uh, uh, A Machine for Pigs, um, there's of course Dear Esther, uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, there's, there's other um, titles too, I know that they're doing something with, I believe, HTC or... Uh, one of the other VR platforms right now, but they're very narrative heavy uh, as far as their titles are. As a matter of fact, this title here gave birth to the term and genre of walking simulator. And I remember seeing, uh, I believe it was Dan Pinchbeck talking about it years ago in an interview where he was doing a um, like a Q&A panel. He was discussing how the idea was to take all the interactivity or the various things out of a game, strip it completely and see how little or how much you would have to actually have in the game to still technically make it a game and interactive. So it was also kind of like a, like an experiment too. So it was more than just, you know, one of their first, actually their first major hit. But, um, anyways, this, without further ado, is something that just came in the mail for me. I already took the inserts out and put them into the cases. Uh, however, I have two copies of Dear Esther from Limited Run Games, signed by Dan Pinchbeck and Jessica Curry. And uh, for what it's worth, if you have not played Dear Esther or any of the walking simulators... That they're known for. I would definitely recommend picking up Everybody's Gone to the Rapture and Dear Esther uh, Landmark Edition for the PlayStation. I am, I'm not too sure. I think Dear Esther is on, on Xbox. I'm not 100% on that, but I know you can pick them up on PlayStation 4. Um, obviously, I have two copies, so I might end up doing a giveaway um, in the near future. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet, but there you go. And uh, for those not in the know, Jessica Curry is also a very accomplished musician, and she also hosts a radio show featuring game music on a classical um, music channel, so I'll go ahead and make sure to link that below. And Dan and Jessica, if you guys are watching this, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart as a true fan of the Chinese room and everything you guys do. It really means a lot to me that you guys were able to do that. All right, so this is Biff Crow signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, tell your friends about me. I'm brand new to this whole YouTube thing. We're going to see how it goes. And uh, of course, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. That's it. See you all soon. Peace.